Hello and welcome to Zombie Survival at the War Games Centre and in this short orientation video we'll cover what you need to know to ensure that your time here is both memorable and safe. So first the serious bit. Throughout the event whilst you're free to move quickly when required, sprinting like a dafty is not permitted at any time. During the course of the event, do not move anything or turn off any lights as this could put others in danger. And if at any point you're instructed to do so by staff, you must return to the safe area and await further instructions there. And please remember that whilst this is designed to be a fun event, aggressive behaviour towards staff, zombies or other participants will result in immediate removal from the event. This will not be tolerated for any reason and there will be no discussion around this. So let's get this show on the road. Now I'd like to say that you're in safe hands but if you know anything at all about zombie films then you won't be surprised to hear that the security guards within this facility are officially the worst security guards on the planet. We're always cocking stuff up. So predictably we've had yet another security breach. But it's not all bad news, you can take some comfort from the fact that myself and all senior staff are tucked up nice and cosy inside a secure underground bunker enjoying frothy cappuccinos in complete safety. How many times do I have to tell you it's three sugars? Amateurs. So this facility is now in lockdown but as this live feed shows our team of highly experienced security personnel are currently carrying out a sweep of the area to ensure that you have the best possible chance of survival. Unfortunately though you'll begin the event completely unarmed and in order to survive you'll need to carry out a search of the area and locate tokens which you can exchange at the armory for a range of weapons and ammo. You'll also need to undertake a series of fiendish missions in order to escape. Sounds easy? Well not really, because as you search the facility you'll need to avoid contamination. Now any physical contact with any of the zombies will result in immediate contamination which means that you'll need to decontaminate and to do this you'll simply return to the security station and you may then immediately return to the game. Unfortunately as you move around the facility you can expect to encounter three very different types of zombies. Now the most common zombie that you'll find is the walker. These are quiet and slow moving and they can be found anywhere within the facility. They're also attracted to sound so you may potentially be able to use this to your advantage. Next is Project Nemesis and this is a prototype so there's only one active nemesis in the vicinity, but if you're spotted by Nemesis it will immediately lock on to you as its target and it will pursue you relentlessly. Nemesis does have one weakness however in that it has very poor side vision, so if you have the nerve to remain perfectly still it may not notice you. Good luck with that. And lastly you may also encounter the clown zombie. Now clowns are scary, zombies are scary, and believe me when I tell you, clown zombies are shit your pants scary. Again there is only one clown zombie, however unfortunately for you this is a rage zombie which means it can and will move very fast if it spots you and it will probably be screaming. What? Everyone's dead. Everyone can't be dead. There's always like two or three guys hiding in a cupboard that don't know what's going on. Sorry. It looks like you guys are on your own. So all I can do is wish you good luck and if you make it through to the end I'd be happy to offer you a job in my security department because we're always looking for new blood. Can I get another cappuccino here guys? Good luck. <laughs> 